Roger Federer has solidified himself as one of the strongest athletes of all time. After winning 20 Grand Slam tennis tournaments, the legend made a shocking revelation to the media about his upcoming schedules. Does Roger finally plan to retire? Did his wife force him to do so? Stay tuned to find out more details about his latest confession below. Who is Roger Federer's wife? First, let's start by discussing who Roger Federer's wife is. Miroslava Federer, more commonly known as Mirka Federer, is married to the tennis star. Does she sound familiar? We bet she does. Before getting married to Roger, the lady was an outstanding tennis player, though her career lasted a short time due to a devastating foot injury. The pro player won four IFT titles. Three wins in the singles category and one in the doubles showed off her exceptional stroke skills. Countless praises by critics made heads turn, as she was on the rise to be the next tennis prodigy. What was next in line for her? Making her mark in the sports industry, Mirka met Roger for the first time in 2000 to play as a duo at the Sydney Olympics. The lovely athlete was on top of her game, sweeping trophies in all major matches held between 1999 and 2001. Raja and Mirka were once paired together to play for the Hopman Cup. The two felt sparks fly between them, almost like fate kept making sure they crossed paths. Sadly, Mirka had a foot injury that multiple surgeries and months of hiatus couldn't fix. The sportswoman was crushed at the decision to give up tennis for the sake of her physical physical and mental health. Roger started dating Mirka during this time and offered great emotional support to the fellow athlete in recovery. We think that's sweet of him. It must have been a very hard time for Mirka, and we are glad she wasn't alone during it. So when did the couple finally tie the knot? After being together for 10 years in April of 2009, the two said their vows at Weckenhof Villa Basel, close to Federer's hometown, were happy they found each other. Roger's surprising confession about his marriage. Moving on to the question on everyone minds. Is the couple happily married? Stay seated, because we're about to tell you all about Roger's surprising confession. The player commented that their relationship might have ended if Mirka didn't give up her career. Hold on, that's not what it sounds like. Roger just wanted Mirka to take care of her foot injury. However, it's not easy to give up a career at its peak, so the mistress decided to make the ultimate sacrifice by doing so with her husband's full support. It's no secret that women have highly sacrificial natures. They can easily overcome major blows to their careers. The patriarchal layouts of most societies often mentally prepare women that they should be the first ones to step down from any aspirations and raise a family. Maybe this mindset could be why Mirka didn't hesitate to step down and become the backbone of her family. She believed that it would be better to focus on family and herself while supporting Roger, rather than being in pain and away from her loved ones. Truly devoted to her role, she supported her husband at every game he played and was his manager for a short amount of time as well. In 2009, the duo welcomed two beautiful daughters, Charlene and Myla. Five years later, their family was blessed by another set of twins, which they named Leo and Lenny. Currently, the six family members reside happily in Botmingen, Switzerland. In an interview with Times Magazine, the Swiss player revealed that he was astonished by Mirka's decision to step away from her career so fast. He admired her willpower and said that she never thought about returning to the sport as well. The tennis legend claims that Mirka has been his biggest support system, and is the reason why he's happy and excels in the game. Would Roger quit if she asked him to? To this query, the star laughed, and responded that he would quit tennis whenever his wife asked him to. Well, we don't know how much of that is true since he's still an athlete. According to Mirka, her happiness lies in seeing her husband have a great career and a joyful life. What is Roger's secret to being the biggest tennis champion in the world? The iconic player gives all credit to his lovely wife. It's really all thanks to his wife taking care of the house and making sure she attends all his matches to be his manager. Roger is eternally grateful for the love and support he receives from his family and his fans, and it shows. We think it's wonderful that both parents have reached a mutual agreement on their career points. The clarity helps them plan their future smartly. Do they have enough time for their kids, though? The Swiss maestro confessed that raising a family and juggling his career, even with Mirka's help, has been tough on him. We can only imagine how stressful it is for his wife. Roger Federer's knee injury. Let's move on to the bigger concerns now. People can seem happy and successful and still have problems to deal with. In August of 2021, the Swiss tennis player was heartbroken to announce that he suffered from another knee injury. This broke the healing process of the injury before the current one and led to Roger getting knee surgery for the third time within two years. Ouch, that's such a short time frame. We hope he wasn't in too much pain. In an Instagram Live video, the star revealed that he was the one who insisted upon 
upon surgery. To Roger, nothing is bigger than being healthy, even if it means he has to sit out of some championships. A temporary hiatus of rest and physiotherapy will have the athlete back on the courts in no time, though. When did the first two surgeries take place? Federer's first knee injury was after the Australian Open in 2020, and the second one took place after the French Open in 2020 as well. Unfortunately, the pain was too much to bear, and he had to drop out of the Tokyo Olympics. Will the surgery be a wise option for someone his age? The 40-year-old athlete's fans flooded his Twitter replies with worries about his health soon after his announcement. As valid as their concerns are, the player assured his fans that surgery is the only option that could prevent long-term damage to his knee. Roger Federer's coach chimed in with his views on the situation and told fans that since the respected player is in his 40s now, the healing will take longer than expected. Of course, athletes need to be physically fit for a long-lasting career in the sports industry. We can only imagine how anxious Federer must be for the upcoming tournaments he might have to tragically sit out on. Roger's devastating announcement. If you're still watching, we suggest you grab a tissue for the news we're about to give you next. On November 18, 2021, Roger Federer announced that he's stepping out of the Australian Open to focus on his recovery. The gut-wrenching news devastated many of his fans across all social media platforms. Earlier this month, Federer also had to decline the opportunity to play at the Melbourne Park match. Lately, it's just been one sad news after the other. Sports editor Simon Graff dropped the bomb that Roger may not be able to participate in the Wimbledon tournament either. This news crushed the hearts of his fans to the full extent. They knew that this meant they might not be able to see their favorite player in the courts for a good while. How long will it take Roger to fully recover from his injury? With a heavy heart, Roger found it difficult to confirm whether he would be allowed to play again in time for Wimbledon. According to his doctor, that would be a miracle. The knee injury this time is very serious, as compared to the one in 2016. The hardworking athlete has to be very patient with the process and keep being optimistic about his situation. What did his doctor have to say about this? Federer's doctor has drafted a rough draft of a timeline to estimate when the player can get back on his feet again. Roger is only allowed to lightly jog his way from January to March 2022. If his conditions show steady improvement, the chances of him starting tennis training would look good by around April 2022. We're not done yet. We have one little secret left for you. Let's discover the real reason Roger opted for this surgery in the middle of all these important tournaments. The legend has only been able to play 19 matches in two years. He wanted his performance to improve and his injury to stop holding him back. The real reason he got the surgery done was so that he could live freely and enjoy ski trips with his children, run with them, and play as passionately as before. We're sad to hear about Roger's temporary leave from the sports world and are sure that his mighty presence will be missed in the time being. That's a wrap for this video. We hope you're not too disheartened by Roger's leave. Do you think he'll be able to start tennis training by March 2022? Did you think he made the right choices by getting the surgery in 2021? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.